With me now is Megan Hayes. She's the Vice President of Investor Relations and Public Affairs for Concho Resources. Megan, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor. I'd really like to start off by asking you how you got your start in the oil and gas industry. Thank you. It is an honor to be recognized with these other individuals. It was serendipity for me. I was about to graduate from TCU, go Frogs, with my bachelor's degree in international relations. And I interviewed for a role in accounts payable at a small oil and gas company that was private at the time. I was started out coding invoices from the field and kept saying yes to new projects as they came my way. So it was a combination of luck, determination, and, and a little bit of grit. So can you talk a little bit more about the path you took uh, once you were really professionally working in other roles, I guess, to get to the point to where you are now at such a young age? I drew what I call a short straw, and one step led to another. So my first opportunity out of college was incredible. I joined a small private company and was given a ton of rope. I helped take the company public, and one project led to another, eventually growing into the investor relations role. I enjoyed working at a small company in a big city, but I always had my sights set on a bigger platform. And I was really proud when Concho called and have continued to draw short straws ever since. So my role at Concho now includes investor relations, public affairs, and corporate responsibility strategy. Wow, well, with all that in mind, what advice do you have for younger professionals that are really trying to find their way in the industry? I thought I was the younger generation. This is 40 under 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> One tactical piece of advice is the industry's getting smarter and almost all decisions, including investment decisions, are informed by big data. So appreciate the data. It will help you understand trends in our business so we can work smarter. Taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture, invest in your education. Know that the only person that can tell you no is you. And so never miss an opportunity. Be bold, take risks, have a plan. And most importantly, surround yourself with people you admire and have a good sense of humor. Thank you for that, Megan. Can you talk to us about maybe a challenge or a risk that you faced in your career that you could pinpoint that really you navigated through and that helped shape you as well? Well, moving from a small company in a big city to a large company in a small city was a challenge both personally and professionally. There were different protocols and processes to navigate and new relationships to build, but it was and continues to be a great opportunity. I had a plan. I took the risk and I'm really happy to be surrounded by good people at a great company. That's really great to hear. Now for my final question, the million dollar question, I guess, do you have any <laughs> advice for a work home life balance? I know this year, I guess that answer may be different than many other years, but what advice do you have there? Yeah, now it feels like work and life are all the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, work and home life, that is. But it's easy. Uh, for me, I don't. I don't have a balance. What I have, though, is a great relationship and a good partner in my husband. And we try to balance each other. And we rarely achieve that balance, though, between work and, and home life. So it's important to check in, make sure we're prioritizing the right things at that moment. And sometimes you have to say, I've got to give 110% to work this week and other weeks you pivot and it's 110% to family or me. So check in and do what works for you because there's no right answer on this question. Very good answer there. We appreciate your words of insight and your expertise as well, Megan. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.